So I'm going to the servo setup and I reversed my gear. And you can keep it normal, but then your setup for your mixes will have to be a little bit different. But I reversed it so that my gear switch was at a certain value when the switch was down. And then if you go into the mixes, I had to set up, um, oh, well, first of all, my, I always enable throttle cut on my models as a safety so that the prop doesn't spin when I first plug in the battery. And mix one, and you can see in the, in the monitor there, there's nothing happening with the throttle cut. And then if I disable the throttle cut, then the, both the throttle and the gear, um, I put my second ESC on the gear channel, obviously, both the throttle and the gear will go up and down. Um, and then flicking the gear switch doesn't do anything. And then you see in flight mode normal, rudder channel is just the rudder, and then throttle separate, and the rudder separate. Um, but if I flick it to um, a different flight mode, then you'll see what happens. Um, so in my mix two, I mixed rudder to throttle. Uh, and there's my rudder. And I just flicked the uh, flight mode one, and now you can see there's a 40% mix to rudder and throttle. Um, so mix 3 is rudder to gear, so I have two separate mixes, one for rudder to throttle and one for rudder to gear, which, um, you know, change the, and you can see the rates and the offset is zero. Um, so mix 4, I set up the gear to gear, and that switches on gear 1. That way, when you flick the gear switch up, nothing happens, um, and I have a, an offset there on mix 4. Because otherwise, before, I would flick the gear switch and, and the throttle would go to full. Um, so I had to disable that by using a mix for gear to gear. Um, mix 5 and mix 6 are the same as mix 2 and 3. I only increase the rates to 100%. So I can have full right rudder and then have a left motor at 100% or the opposite, the right motor at 100%. Basically, it just lets you have one motor at 100% um, instead of mixing at 40% or something. So I just have two different rates. You don't need all six mixes. Um, if you wanted, you could probably get away with just three um, or four depending on if you want to uh, disable the gear switch so hopefully that helps all right let's see it in action I haven't made in this plane yet but uh, there's the battery it's a 4 cell 2200 um, the only place it'll fit is in in the front it makes it kind of nose heavy so I'm gonna have to figure out a different battery maybe an 1800 4 cell okay there's the plane 4 cell 2200 just for this test um, but to have the right CG it's gonna have to have a uh, 1800 4 cell I think and so I got the throttle cut on and you can see the both the throttle and the gears which aren't doing anything um, and then mix 4 on the gears what disables that uh, gear switch from having one motor go full my right motor is on throttle my left is on gear just FYI um, okay so I set my mix 1 and you can see the there's a 40% mix on there and the rudder, rudder is making one more motor go up to 40% and the opposite left rudder right rudder um, in combination with the rudder should make some for some good knife edges and whatnot um, so I disable it back to uh, normal flight mode and I have just rudder back to flight mode one and then back again uh, and you can see what uh, what that does um, of course I have a DX8 which has the three flight modes if you don't have that then you, you you know you, you just can't have the three flight modes you'll have two maybe like on a dx6 or, or something i don't know what a dx7 has but um and then of course flight mode three goes all the way to 100 percent um i think this is flight mode one and this is flight mode, i'm sorry flight mode two zero one and two zero is normal so this is flight mode two and you can see the throttle kind of crazy all right back down to normal so no throttle mix with the rudder just to give us a little bit of power so i think it'll squirt a bit yeah it kind of wants to fly out of my hands so it should be fun <laughs> 